So we are here opening night with the Brooklyn Nets. After we made all those trades, or really the one big trade here, we acquired James Wiseman from the Warriors in exchange for Kevin Durant. We got Jonathan Kaminga here and Jordan Poole. It's really interesting because we have this team now, and I'm really interested on who is going to be sort of that breakout player for us. All these guys... Sure, they're young, but also, you know, they're not too far away from potentially getting paid, getting that second contract. So we're going to have to figure out sort of who are the main guys that we are going to keep here. And Ben Simmons, the most interesting thing about this is power forward Ben Simmons, less of a point forward, more of just, a, I think, more of a traditional power forward scoring defense. That's what we're going to try to go with here uh, for Ben Simmons moving forward. I, I think the uh, point Simmons... Uh, experiment, development uh, thing. I, I just don't think that's going to work. I, I just don't think that's uh, a smart way to use a guy with his size and athleticism. That's just me, though. So, for some miss here early on, Terry's Halliburton trying to push the ball up here to Kaminga. And then we get Ben Simmons down low in the post. You know, Ben Simmons is such a guy, you know, that really should be his game. Honestly, this guy should be a scorer. This guy should, you know... It doesn't have to be shooting either. That's the thing with Ben Simmons that I think is so interesting. Uh, everyone focuses on the shooting aspect. He does have to get better at shooting, but I think he can be a really great down low presence. He can just be, I think, a great scorer for you. I think that's his potential. And then we get Jordan Poole hitting a three here. When the, I know these have been in the game for a few years, but I've never really experimented with the series uh, sort of feature. In the game and this is the first games where i really did experiment with it and it's actually pretty nice we see wiseman here getting to the basket on val Kunis, and so that's pretty nice right here so you see right here we're really focusing on the inside game and then trying to cut them up on the outside here with the shooting and jordan pool makes another three right there very nice stuff here and so we have zion williamson and this was a problem in the last 2k where it just feels like the offense doesn't focus enough on guys like Zion. He sort of does nothing. He's a terrible 2K uh, player. Just sort of just doesn't really do a lot. And right, once again, running that series. And uh, yeah, we just keep making these three-point shots with that little double screen action. So uh, Halliburton here trying to drive in. Halliburton's a really interesting player as well. Because I think he's a very good offensive player. And uh, yeah, I mean, it was somewhat interesting... Sacramento decided to move on from him. Um, it was very, it was very confusing why Sacramento did that. I'm still not sure why they did it, but uh, yeah, they did it. Anyway, I don't think they should have did it. So we tried getting Buddy Heald going. Can't really do that. But uh, Nick Nick Claxton in here finds Joe Harris corner three. That one's good. So it's 20 to 11 here in the first quarter, and CJ McCollum kept uh you know he kept us on our, on our feet in this game uh he was really the main offensive uh firepower for this uh pelicans team and we see here we get a mismatch here with simmons and i think with simmons it's so easy to get mismatches for him that if he did i think sort of embrace playing down low a little bit more i think he could be a, once again i'm just saying i think he could be a great player i know it's 2k but i really think that should be his game you see right here we get the and one opportunity here for larry nance you know, would it be great if he could shoot threes? Yes, but you know he can also draw fouls and pick up three points. I would say the other way. And uh, Larry Nance trying to go for three. That's not that's not happening. And so we got him here. Fast break. Simmons driving down the court. Really should have been able to get around. Uh, I believe that's Alvarado, Avocado, whatever his name is. The guy that had like a couple good games in the playoffs last year against the Suns. And then there's a three right there from Devontae Graham. A friend of the channel he's been in a couple series that we've had and as we find claxton here again so we have just you know interesting we have a dearth of centers but we do end the first quarter with a uh, 10 point lead we have a dearth of centers but you know we have two really good ones and i think guys that are dynamic uh, in terms of i think being able to make some nice defensive plays for us they can be pretty athletic modern centers maybe not the best shooters 
as we start to get Kaminga going a little bit here now in this second quarter. Zion just sort of not really aware of what's going on. And uh, we kept really targeting Zion on defense. So here's CJ McCollum again, dribbling around here. I think that was good defense, and uh, yeah, it still makes it anyways. So the Pelicans trying to stick around here. And we get the ball here to Summer. And then we get Kaminga here on Larry Nance. Try to drive here in the post. Going for a fade, then we just come right back up here. Very nice stuff right there. I don't know if Kaminga's that good with the post in real life. If it's just sort of 2K, but you know, I always like players that I can use in the post, and we have a lot of those guys here. Nice pick and roll here. I believe that was more in a freelance set with Wiseman. So we're able to get that to go for us pretty well. We got Poole here again, that double screen action. And that's another three ball for Poole. And then we come back down low now here, here to Wiseman. Wiseman looks creates enough space that he can come back through here on the original fake and able to get that basket to fall in. So just some really nice stuff here. We get Wiseman again on a screen. We get the mismatch and he just goes right up here with the post shot, able to get that one to fall in up 14 now at this point in the game. And uh, yeah, I mean, the Pelicans don't have much. They don't have really a lot of answers. And there's Wiseman with a big block right there. Packing his, you know what, sending that one into the front row. Very nice play right there by Wiseman. That's why I like Wiseman. Just a really good athlete. Um, I just don't think he, you know, it is. I just don't think he fits there with the Warriors. So that's why we uh, happily took him. We got Pool here again for three, nailing that one. This time that was more out of a actual sort of play. So you know, we have the right series to work and we have sort of um, run the right plays for these guys. We have so many guys here that uh, can shoot the three, which is great. And then we have Terry's Halliburton able to just take it right to the rack right there. Nice screen there set by Wiseman for Poole and he nails that three. So he's already up to 18 points here and that's just really off the three ball, which is quite fine by me. So we get a screen here, Simmons, Puts that one right in. That should have been a dunk. There's always been an issue with 2K where uh, guys don't dunk the ball when they should. I don't know what that's about, but hey, it's still a basket. So Simmons at this point in the game has 17 points. Get the rebound here off the miss. I wish Halbert would just keep running the floor here when Simmons has the ball. I mean, Simmons is a guy that can initiate the offense. And Simmons right there in the post on the mismatch got picked up by a guy that... Uh, doesn't exactly have the size to to match him. So second quarter starting to wind down here. We get the steal, push the ball up here to Halliburton, push it back to Heald, push it back to Simmons. That should have been a dunk. Doesn't matter. 21 points in the half for Ben Simmons. And if you mentioned, if you watched my last video, I've had issues with for whatever reason when I get to halftime, the game just crashes. So um, came in here able to sort of simcast to the third quarter. We still have the lead, of course. So Simmons here, Simmons versus Zion, just goes up here with the contact, doesn't matter. Simmons still making that one. Great touch underneath the basket by Simmons. We come back here, another screen. And uh, this was a risky pass, able to fire that one in. And Simmons gets another and one opportunity. And, you know, Ben Simmons playing very nice. Glad I didn't trade him. Because Simmons is, you know, he's locked in for a few. His nice little spin move. We got a little bit of sauce with it right there. Terry's Halliburton able to make that shot. It's 80 to 54. And so we're kind of running them off the court here because their offense seems to just consist of CJ McCollum uh, isolation plays. They're not really running a lot of offense here. So Simmons, little fake spin, trying to lose Larry Nance. They have takeover for some reason. I don't know why. It seems like throughout the game. The team, everyone seems to just get random takeovers. I don't really understand that. Nice pass under the basket to Simmons. This is the fourth quarter now. And Simmons is up to 32. This is a blowout. Get the ball back to Simmons. If he was a shooter, we would have shot that. But instead, slams it down. Able to get the drive. Very nice stuff right there by Ben Simmons. Up to 34 points now at this point. Can we get him a 40-piece? Zion Williamson comes right back at him he only has 10 points on the night he's only he's taking a small amount of shots so now simmons driving in and one opportunity coming up right here up to 36 points uh very nice stuff right here simmons 
you know, Zion really has nothing for him right now, defensively and on the offensive end. Simmons is just uh, eating his lunch in this one, and we make another free throw of Ben Simmons, so that's pretty good. Up to 37 now. Can we get him to 40? Up to 39 at this point. Simmons drives in, slams it down. 41 points for Ben Simmons. And beautiful stuff right here. This would be a game where if like you're a Philly fan, you'd be watching this. You're going like, where was this? And once again, that play really clears things out for Ben to get a nice driving lane and just slams that one down. Very nice. Double clutched it. 20 point victory here on opening night against the New Orleans Pelicans. Against New Orleans Pelicans. I don't know why I almost messed that all up, but yeah. 20 point victory here. Ben Simmons, 43 points, five rebounds, two assists, 20 at 23. Jordan Poole, six for seven from behind the arc. Therese Halliburton, 12 points, 11 assists on the night. Had a block as well. So. Once again, very nice game. You see James Wiseman there, four blocks on the night. So made it tough for those guys to really get anything going uh, consistently on the inside. Uh, Javon Carter uh, did have two turnovers, but he played pretty well for us, actually. So did Edmund Summer. He also played pretty well for us. So we have, uh, we simulate a little bit here. Going to play the first Sixers game. It may be another game in this episode, next episode. I'm not 100% sure on that just yet, but we're 10 and 7. And the Sixers, they are 11 and 5, so pretty similar record. So, why not go check in on the 76ers? Their team, that the top team in the Eastern Conference, gonna have to compete against them in the playoffs. Uh, so why not go and play them? But yeah, I mean, you take a look here, we beat the Bucks 143 to 141. Uh, did drop a game to the Mavericks, kind of got blown out by the Pacers. Then we're able to get another game against the Pacers. So, just looking around here at some of these games that we uh, did not play simulate got a big win over the lakers so all that is looking pretty good so i'm happy to finally get this episode out finally able to get this series fully going so i want to thank you guys for watching this and uh i'll see you guys in the next one later peace be sure to hit like and be sure to hit subscribe to catch all the upcoming videos so yeah thank you guys for watching see you in the next one peace